My game was boring. This is how I saved it and made it juicy. While I was letting this account vanish to the sands of time, I worked on the cornerstone of all my future FPS games. <coughs> Problem Sums FPS Starter. Hot diggity dog! This place is magnificent! It's basically a base project that has all the most important features I need for my future FPS games. This starter includes shooting, abilities, ability selection, animations, muscle effects, global event boss, and more. All the technical non-visual features were implemented in C++, while blueprints were used for the visual and creative features. But when I implemented all the technical stuff, the starter just seemed bland. I mean, really bland. Like a Jim's Bros chicken recipe bland. So I added some seasoning, aka juice. Can you spot the difference? If not, let me reveal them to you. I had to improve the player's understanding. A lot of the time the player would kind of have to guess what is happening. <laughs> To help with that, I added multiple effects that not only look good, but also make it easy to understand what the hell is happening. First, particle effects. For each hit, little cute blood splatters are spawned. When the enemy is killed, a big effect is shown to indicate that yes, he just exploded into fleshy bits and thus is no longer a threat to the player. Besides that, I also improved the hit indication by adding different sounds. There are three sounds that rotate and pitch shift to indicate a hit and then two sounds that indicate a kill. The finishing sounds are nice and juicy. It's not only nice for the shooting, but also for the finishing teleport move. Oh, I love this finishing move now, it's so crunchy. Okay, I have to admit, there's one game with a specific cowboy that I used as the basis for juicy controls. Cassidy. I get it, using Overwatch as a role model in 2024 is... Yikes. Nonetheless, when you play Overwatch, you see one very satisfying thing. If you are a Cassidy or Widowmaker player, you know what I'm talking about. It's the hit markers and the sounds. God damn, every time I get one of those red markers and the ding sound, I get a shot of dopamine. Literally better than any smokable substance. I covered the sounds a second ago, but the hit markers I haven't yet. So let me explain. You get a soft white hit marker when hitting a body shot, red when hitting a headshot, and the skull when getting an elimination. I wanted to make a less in your face version of that since I'll mostly be making single player games for now, where eliminating an enemy will be more common. So I've decided to make it like an X around the crosshair, on hit it flashes white, on kill it flashes red. This allows the user to know what happened by just looking straight down at the monitor. I'm happy with this, but uh, I might rework it a bit once I have the enemies that can be headshot. The final addition I made is probably the one most of you have missed, camera effects. Over the last few months I had a hunch that camera movement is a lot more important than what people think. For example, racing games use camera effects a lot. Just see how much Drive Club distorts the camera to sell the sense of speed. Even in a mostly competitive multiplayer game like Overwatch, they still add subtle camera shakes to sell the impact slash power of actions. In my case, I've added three shakes, one FOV modifier and one vignette effect. For shooting, I added a recoil shake similar to the one in Overwatch. For the dodge, I added a little shake, inspired again by Cassidy's role in Overwatch. The most effects I've added were for the teleport finish ability where it applies a FOV change and tunneling effects like Drive Club does. And it also makes a big shake when the target is close, so, you know. Personally, I think this feels pretty satisfying, especially when I take into account that I'm basically shooting red balls, which do nothing and there's no actual goal. So I take this as a good start. If you want to try it too, you're in luck. I decided to release this project as Problem Sums FPS starter on my Patreon and the new Fab Store. I uh, will try to use this asset to get some funding for my next FPS, which will be a game about cowboys and demons with inspirations from Bioshock, Infinite, Trepang and Zelda. 
I know that sounds a bit weird, but you know, just trust me. If you want to hear more of it, just let me know in the comments. I'll be using the starter project as a baseline for this game and retroactively add more features to the starter project. Are there any features you'd like me to add? Let me know in the comments. Get the asset on my Patreon for free when you sign up for the free trial as a junior producer for the next five days, or just buy it on the Fab Store. In the next video, I will either create 3D animated human enemies or procedural cowboy world. See you then. <laughs>